Get your CompetitionPlus.com apparel today. Whether it's our nitro-burning funny car design or the vibrant door slammer design, we have the swag to show you are always in the know. Get yourself a hat, too. And we know not everyone enjoys wearing a mask, but if you must wear one, at least wear a good-looking one. Check out the new CompetitionPlusApparel.com for the latest from the place where you have trusted for your news on the Internet for over two decades. Lightning fans reaction times, the signature of Justin Ashley's year. Can Doug Coletta match him? They both leave in the 40s and they get to the finish line. Ashley wins the race and Steve Torrance is the 2020 Top Fuel World Champion. Defending NHRA Top Fuel Champion Steve Torrance used the first race back this season to make a statement. Torrance set out the season opener in Pomona, but quickly showed he hadn't missed a beat. We wouldn't have skipped the race if we would have known every race would have counted. So um, it ended up biting us in the butt, really, but or made it more difficult for us to be able to, to be where we're at today. And, and who knows? I mean, we, it, it could have still been in the same situation. We could have went there and not qualified. And the Wally is in the hand of the world champ. And Steve, 2018 was a year of redemption for you. 2019 was a year of defending. What will 2020 be for you? Honestly, I don't know right now. I mean, that's that's a spectacular way to win a final. And I mean, you got Doug Halita, the guy's been kicking my butt for a long time and, and just one of the best drivers out here, hands down. I'm a Doug Halita fan. I know what it takes to get here, what it takes to, to be in this position and how hard every one of those guys over there work and how hard Doug's work and the, the amount of time that he's spent out here and to come up short, not just one time, but so many times, uh, it's, it's a mixed emotion for me because, I mean, I, I, I know where his head's at right now and I know how it feels. I'm happy for my team and myself, but I, I was saddened for Doug and, and that whole Mac Pool team. I mean, they fought so hard and they had a great call. Starting line advantage for Richie Crampton and Steve Torrance loses the round but wins the war. Steve Torrance smokes the tires, but Phillips trying to catch him, blows him up in the process, and Torrance wins the drag race. 4.273 seconds. Steve, you were actually upset up here. Then you found out that you won. You have talked about your mental toughness heading into this weekend. How do you continue that forward? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, it's frustrating because. I ain't the best at pedaling one of these things, but I try to do my job, and we go out there, and I'm about to suffocate in this deal. Take a look at the car down there in the left lane, and take a look at the livery. They have swapped over what is normally the Capco car championship paint job for the Nitro Ninja paint job, and that is just one more step of support for the Lagana family. In the after Dom's accident was extremely difficult. Uh, I never found myself in a an emotionally motivated situation where you're, you're trying to do it for your brother that's, that's fighting for his life and you, you want nothing more than to win that race for him. And I'm the one that lost that race. I went up there and lost on a whole shot and I didn't take it. I didn't take it well. I mean, my mind wasn't in the right place. No excuse, but that's what we're facing. We're supposed to do as drivers is. is when, the, when everything is against you and these guys have time and time again instilled the confidence that the car's going to be there, but I just, I didn't do my job that right. And it's going to be Leah. She goes 3.743, 322 miles an hour. Torrance goes 3.724. They make the final adjustments, and it's going to be a Capco winner circle, but will it be Steve or will it be Billy? Three point eight oh to three point eight one, and Steve Torrance wins it. Oh, what a drag race. Billy goes three point eight one zero, three hundred twenty miles an hour. Steve goes 3.809. Steve, in your semi, uh, semi-final interview, you said Don Garlitz was your hero. He is at the starting line, and he can hear this interview. What would you like to say to him? Oh, man, it's unbelievable. Don, thank you for just having the opportunity or letting us have the opportunity to run your car, to come here and just celebrate 
Don Garlitz, the man that, that, that has, goes back, all the history is Don Garlitz, and I mean, he's a hero. But you know, we had a really good day today with these Capco boys. This is my dad here, and we're a family. And uh, they told me before this round that Dom is back in the hospital and he's kind of showing a little bit of good sign and he's watching us, so we got one for old Dom again. Woo! Immediate tire smoke for Steve Torrance, and that means Doug Coletta will win St. Louis. Doug Coletta, 3.690 seconds. The smoke trailing behind the race car at 322.58 miles an hour, and you can see a lot of elation on that side of the racetrack. Steve grabs 200 from his dad's back pocket off the starting line, and he takes more than that to the strike. 3.716 seconds, 328.78 miles an hour as Billy Torrance goes 381-0. And you can see we love Dom, and we know, Dom, you're watching, and we love you too, as Steve Torrance now unequivocally has taken control of the championship run in top fuel. Steve, Kilgore, Texas is 120 miles away from here. This is a home race for you, but even sweeter, your family, Dom Lagana, is watching this race. What would you like to say to him? Hell, I may take him camping. I don't know. Dom Lagana, brother, we done this one for you, man. I know you're at the house, and we've been fighting hard. And them Capco boys, they're bad to the bone, and every one of them's here supporting us, and we're supporting you, brother. But, uh, my old man, that's the toughest son of a gun out here that we got to race. He's bad to the bone. He's beat me more than anybody else out here. And uh, he helped us out, and hell, we had to do our job to get by him that round. I don't know what it was, but I know that old rattlesnake's going to come up and bite someday. Mike Green, the crew chief, steps away. Two top fuel titans to close out the weekend in Houston, Texas, and set us up for a finals in Las Vegas. Torrance is out first. They get to the finish line. Tony Schumacher! Wow, what an appropriate way to end this one. 28 ten thousandths at the stripe, and they absolutely threw the hammers at it. Low ET in the meet, 366.9, an instant classic final round, outrunning of 368.7 for Steve. I got the hair standing up on wow. my arms right now. This is an amazing final round. The lightning fast reaction times, a signature of Justin Ashley's year. Can Doug Coletta match him? They both leave in the 40s and they get to the finish line. Ashley wins the race and Steve Torrance is the 2020 Top Fuel World Champion. Do you think you've won three championships? I'm not going to ask you to rank them, but do you think you're an even better champion driver now? Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not my driving. It's, it's my outlook on everything else. Um, in Houston that this is much more than just winning. In the year that you get married, the year you find out you're going to be a father, your friends and family are watching at the starting line, and Dom has already texted Bobby and said, I love you. Hey, man. What makes this one different? Everything you just said. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because I fall short a lot, and everybody sees it. And I fall, I, I get, it ain't something I'm proud of, but I'm proud of those boys. I'm proud of that team. Richard Hogan, Bobby Lagana, every one of those guys, they give heart and blood to be out here and do this. And uh, 
it's it's unbelievable really i mean three championships in three years and the success that we've had we're a couple of hillbilly pipeliners from east texas and to be out here and do this is 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 unreal and so uh i can't thank those guys at home enough that that work so hard and keep us out here can't thank my mom and dad to support me my wife that supports me and uh man i don't get emotional much not this way so this is different but everybody thank you for the support thanks for everything we just it's unreal and, and doug Kalita is the fiercest competitor out here and those guys have fought hard so so many years so long and i mean you want to kick yourself in the butt for 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 doing robbing that guy of it but you know it's just it's truly a blessing to be here this will be i mean i've had a lot of highlights in my career and this is going to be right up there at the top of all of them